You're probably already engaging with your customers online using a combination of email and social media. And maybe you also use live chat or SMS. But did you know that WhatsApp can be an effective support channel for your e-commerce business too? I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on WhatsApp and WhatsApp business, reasons why you should start offering customer support on the app. And then I'm gonna drop a step-by-step -step process on how any company can start using WhatsApp as efficiently as possible. Today, we're gonna cover why WhatsApp should matter to your business, how a WhatsApp business account can help your online store, and best practices for getting started with WhatsApp support. Here's why WhatsApp should matter to your business. WhatsApp is the most popular messenger app in the world logging over 2 billion active users. It was purchased by Meta in 2014, and it's proven to be one of the most reliable apps in its class. End-to-end -end encryption on all messages, calls, and video chats pairs nicely with its ability to run on Wi-Fi alone. No cell phone plan needed. So many e-commerce brands forget about using WhatsApp in their support strategy, and that's why it's such a massive missed opportunity for international brands. In case you somehow didn't catch it earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. WhatsApp has over 2 billion users and 500 million daily users worldwide. That's a massive opportunity you're missing by skipping this channel in your support mix. Your customers expect you to show up where they already are to solve their problems. Get that right and you'll move more folks to the checkout button over and over and over again. Luckily, WhatsApp business lays out a lot of that groundwork. A business account will give you access to custom contact labeling with up to 20 color-coded categories, an informative company profile including all your key information, basic automation that can apply to greetings, away messages, and real-time replies, and limited analytics and statistics to track your activity and impact. Now let's get into it. Here's a step-by-step -step rundown for how to get your online store set up for success with WhatsApp. WhatsApp is still growing at a rapid pace and doubling down on useful business features as time goes on. Here's how WhatsApp business can help your business. Bring automation and chatbots into your WhatsApp support process. Build and maintain an exclusive brand community of up to 5,000 members for your VIPs. Start the conversation first with proactive customer service and sales messages. WhatsApp business is already powerful and there are so many opportunities unlocked when it's paired with more specialized apps. More on that later. Here's some best practices for getting started with WhatsApp support. To get support in setting the app up, check the video from WhatsApp in this video's description. I'd rather spend our time together providing the kinds of effective plays that the WhatsApp documentation doesn't get into. For example, you need to build trust before sending your first message. Set up your WhatsApp profile completely and thoughtfully with a clear description of your business. You need to be clear about who you are and what your focus is. And don't forget your business hours so people know when to get in touch. Once you're ready to start answering questions, keep in mind that your responses need to be short and sweet, personalized and quick. Sometimes, this means putting a dedicated agent on messaging tickets, but it's more effective to integrate WhatsApp with a customer service platform, which also unlocks a host of other benefits. If you integrate the customer service platform, you can use advanced automation to handle common questions without spending time on them or answer them with on-brand macro templates. This helps deliver responses that hit the criteria I just mentioned. This help desk integration will also bring your WhatsApp conversations into the same feed as your other channels, opening up new opportunities for triage. You can set automation rules that sort, filter, and prioritize your WhatsApp conversations. Finally, you can see the effects of all these changes with a dashboard that tracks your response time, resolution time, CSAT, and any relevant customer feedback. Make an impact on your business and then prove that impact out to your manager. Before I leave you, remember this. The clock starts ticking once a customer reaches out on WhatsApp. The app gives you 24 hours to respond with a custom message before sending a templated response approved by the WhatsApp team. And because it's a messaging app, you actually need to get back to your customers even quicker than that. If this video was helpful, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons for more CX-related content. Until next time.